Okay. This video is about Snoop Dogg's son going, um, receiving a scholarship to play on a sports team. I read the article, but I don't remember every little detail, but I remember enough to give you this video, okay? Uh, so, there are replies about why is his son getting a free scholarship because, you know, his pops got money. So, hmm. I remember they had a reality show, and I don't, I, don't, I don't even remember how many seasons it was, and nothing like that. But I'm sure from royalty, he, he should have, he should have enough to take care of himself and his children. So, um, I, I really don't have too much of a feeling about. It. They get that stuff to who they want to give it to. Okay. Um, he going, he's playing sports, so the fact that he's going to be, you know, endorsement opportunities, all that kind of stuff, so it's kind of like a portfolio trade-off, like he gets to go to school free while he, while they use his dad's name and his sports skills, so it's not a big deal, so it's nothing to get there and get um, you know, it's it's nothing to get competitive or responsive about, not at all. And um, maybe he's gonna help somebody get there and and go. You know, he may be giving money to an after school program. I mean, I'm sure he's doing charity of some sort. I, I just believe he is, even though he's been doing a lot of crazy headline things. Yes, I feel, you know I'm aware of that. But, um, you know, with his son going to school free, maybe he's helping someone else or he's helped several other people go to school there that by the time it came to this, you know, we, we we don't have to know everything behind this. Sometimes just get in the benefit of the doubt unless you know directly, personally. But I'm going to get a benefit of the doubt. Maybe he helped other people go to, even if it was trade school, that's still a blessing for some people to go to trade school or even just pay, you know, pay somebody while they was in college. Um, a, a struggling homeless person or help build a shelter, even contribute to a shelter. Uh, if he did that, you know, I, I, and I believe he did, you know, even though they do crazy stuff, it don't mean anything. So don't get a benefit of doubt. That's my response on it, and, you know, let's move forward on major stuff. Do check out the video, Vaccine Exemptions Upheld and Net Neutrality. Um... Also subscribe, reply, and share, and check the videos on this channel. There are thirty over thirty videos on this channel, and I will further be speaking about uh, stay as a black parent. The topic that is very relevant to this matter here is on education for our event that will be at the Adam uh, Colin Powell Colin Powell Building <laughs> in New York City uh, for summer 2014. Do put your two dollar registration because the um, it, there will be a, a new flyer coming out soon. So $2 deposit goes to state, S-T-A-T-E, of O-F-T-H-E, black parent, at gmail.com. Um, and we also have a crowdfund on BBnomics. Um, it's titled Kickoff NYC 2015. So definitely, if you have any questions about the spelling, the email, or where to send the money to by PayPal, and do label it. You know, it's only you know, it's only one soul is soul trust person. It ain't no no other nothing but state of the black parent at Gmail. That's the only account that's supposed to be receiving funds. Okay, if you receive something based on this event. Or souvenirs and appreciation, do reach out. And the contact number is area code 225-395-1792. Definitely label. Um, so definitely the title for education is How Do We Fund Our Children's Education. That does include child care. It includes after school programs. It includes community college. It includes parents that are getting arrested for homeschooling their children. So that will all be under that umbrella where we'll talk about under education. How do we fund our children's education? Um, 
we're going to definitely discuss, of course, Obama signed. What is the process and the procedure for um, the free community college? You know, definitely if by the time we have the conference, someone has went through it, definitely reach out. You should definitely be registering now. Uh, Two dollar deposit per person, definitely. We have an early bird special. This is our special right now, deposit now. This will definitely get things going. Don't talk about you're going to wait till the day of the event. No, let's secure now. And let's get this going. It's a very, very, very vital event. So our title in economics is How Can Each Economic Class Help Each Other? And our topic for enterprise is the Small Business Eliminate Unemployment. So we'll be discussing at the round table and there will be uh, workshops. Uh, Professor Carlton Jones will be there and definitely other great um, workshop hosts. Uh, so you definitely don't want to mention, but definitely contact for further discussion, text, or call. You know, anytime you, you text any time of the day, it's no big deal. Area code 225. Three nine five one seven nine two. I also like to make an announcement to you all that this Monday, um, let me get this number here, y'all. see. The number is nine one four eight zero three four five seven one. I will be live on the air at eleven a.m. It's going to be Save the Black Parent at eleven a.m. on Mondays. Uh, so I definitely look forward to you all sharing. Contact and engagement. So our topic for this Monday is going to be uh, Akiba Line Business History and the uh, Black Parent. And so we're going to, you know, re a spin-off topic from what we did on the previous Monday on the, uh, you know, other network that I was on, you know, cordial relationship. Um, but definitely, you know, things... Uh, going into a more convenient schedule, you know, as state of the black parent, you know, the state. And so definitely have a morning shift on Mondays. The last show will be this Monday at 6 p.m. East Coast time on the Legacy of a Nation Network. Um, so definitely tune in for the last show where I'm going to be speaking about performing. Um, do Why do performing artists feel unappreciated? And I definitely, it's going to be tear-taking. Um, so I'm doing two shows that day, anytime, and definitely, anytime you get there in between this time um, of watching the videos, definitely go to the archives of State of Black Parent. We're going to be, um, definitely, it's going to be great. It's going to be great for upcoming, you know, March is Black Music Month. It's also Teenage Pregnancy Prevention Month. It is you know, so so much going on. Uh, so definitely, as you know, Black History it may end, but Black History is 365, and so definitely we look forward to definitely a great production. Um, hashtag State BP and hashtag BP Now, the state of the Black Parent, the state of Black Production, uh, Black Production Now. Definitely um, register. And I'll. See y'all later.